Hey guys, this is Tranquil Flow with the Anti-Scam Token Team. We've got a video today regarding front running bots on Uniswap. What they are, how you can avoid them, and how you can potentially shake one off if you do if you've got one tracking you. So what is a front running bot? Well, on a centralized exchange, a front running bot would put an order above or below you when you put a trade up. So for instance, if you're trying to sell Bitcoin for $9,000, then what it would do is it would instantly put an order in for $9,001 or $9,001, you know? So it's basically just getting in front of you to try make sure that you can't uh, do your trade effectively. Now Uniswap obviously doesn't have a, a order book. So what does it do? Well. It basically, it looks a little bit something like this. Um, so this is taken from the Vision Trades Telegram channel. And you can see the bot is at the top and below, and we've got a normal person trying to buy in in the middle. So this person is trying to buy in to Vision. They're putting in two Ethereum. And so when you put in your transaction in, uh, it goes to the mempool or the pending transactions. And so the bot notices the transaction pending. And so it says, okay, someone's trying to buy. So what I'll do is I'll buy in front of them. And then the person buys and the price gets bumped up and they instantly sell. And so we can see here, it's even reflected in this uh, estimate price. We got, was that 48 cents? They bought it 49 cents and the, they sold again, dropping the price down again. Um, so, you know, so these trades, they, they don't make a lot of money for the bots, but they do make some kind of money, presumably. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing them. Um, but the thing is, they have to burn a lot of gas to beat this person. Um, and so, you know, if we look at this, um, for instance, we can see they spent um, $754 worth of S, $755, and then they received $763 worth of F. So that's a, so they earned roughly like $9 from this. Um, and then transaction fee, $1.23, $1.85. So, you know, they're not making a lot of money from these, but, um, you know, it's something and it's, it's, it's never fun because basically the bot is more or less dumping on you in a way. Um, and so that can be really frustrating. Um, so when you go to trade, you know, up here in the top right, you've got this little gear icon. And so normally you have your slippage down quite low. But if you increase your slippage to yeah, even 10%, it's saying, oh, your transaction may be front run. And that's basically giving you a heads up about front running bot. Um, so that you know transitions nicely into um, well, how do you how does a front running bot start to target you? Um, and we believe that if you have a transaction with a high slippage tolerance, um, you're obviously at, at risk. Because slippage is basically saying so 10% slippage, you would say, hey, I put my order in at this price, right? But if it increased up to 10% during the time that my transaction is pending, I'd still like to purchase that. Um, so if I did something, you know, like 50%, <laughs> it wouldn't let me. Okay, um, 25%. It's saying, hey, the price goes up 25% during this pending transaction, still throw it in, I don't care. I still wanna buy it. So putting up a high slippage is useful if you're trying to get in when there's a lot of price movement because you know you could, if you put just like 0.1%, you're basically relying on um, people not buying at all or very, very little. Um, otherwise the price will get moved away from your target price and your transaction will fail. And um, no one wants that because, you know, you're just wasting money. So, <clears throat> so you know, prevention is obviously the best uh, treatment. So 
just be careful with slippage um, because you can get targeted by a front running bot. We also believe that if you post your contract address publicly, for example, for an airdrop, that you may be at risk for a front running bot um, because front running bots seem to target uh, addresses that have quite a lot of money in them. And the reason they do that is because these addresses are, you know, well, a whale address, for example, they might do a 10F purchase. Um, and so if you're doing a 10F purchase, then those gas fees that they're paying, the front running bot is paying for, um, are diluted by the, you know, amount of uh, extra gains they can get. So, yeah, just be careful with posting your address publicly in general. Um, if you are doing an airdrop, maybe delete the address after the airdrop, airdrop is finished. Um, and we also have um, a, so one of our team members, uh, Walter, or otherwise known as Mr. Doggo, um, he said that he was actually able to shape a front running bot. Um, and so what he did is he posted some transactions using low gas and high slippage and then canceling the transaction. Um, and what, and then also he would do that for tokens that he thought were rugs or scams. Um, if you do that a few times, you'll apparently shake them off because they apparently end up purchasing these scam tokens. Um, because they see, they see the transaction going through, um, they try to beat your transaction, and then you cancel it. Um, if they've already purchased, then they're suddenly now holding this scam token. So that's one way to do it. Um, and yeah, I mean, but it's, it's always gonna be tough, and the transaction slippage is seriously the biggest thing you need to look out for. Um, at the end of the day, uh, there are, any definitive ways to prevent flight running bots. Although I have heard some people talking about some mechanisms for uh, delivering some kind of protection against this. Um, until now, I haven't heard anything. But if you guys have heard of any way to beat running bots or you have any experience with these things, let us know. Because uh, you know, it's, it's never nice just getting dumped on, mini dumped on for a few F, I mean, a few dollars worth of F, but it's still something. So guys, that's everything. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. And until next time, take care. Stay safe.